Hello, I'm Didet and today I present you a video about the firmware 3.51, the most recent version, and the PS Vita half byte loader for said version. So we can see my device is running the most recent firmware, which is 3.51, and I swapped my memory card for my small 4GB test memory card because I changed my PlayStation account from the usual European account to the, well, rather exotic Japanese account. As you can see, this Japanese game is a new exploit game for the version 3.51. I'm not entirely sure, but I think the game is only available in the Japanese PlayStation Store. I might be wrong, I might be right, I don't know. And the game is called Tokiden, The Age of Demons. And the nice thing about this game is, it's a, it's a demo version. So the game is free and you can download download it to your PlayStation Vita. But like I said, it's most likely only available in the Japanese PlayStation Store. So you might have to change your account for using this VHBL. I'm not sure why this list is not loading. Let me see. Oh, and since I'm unable to type in Japanese characters, I made myself a little bookmark can just use this one, 351 VHBL game, and then it will load the website of the PlayStation Store, the online website, and if I'm using it on the PlayStation Vita, it will automatically open the PlayStation Store and will automatically redirect me to the page I'm looking for, which is this one. For whatever reason, the pictures are not loading, but I think this might be just my bad Wi-Fi. Whatever. Um, as you can see on this red icon, I bought, well, I didn't buy it since it's free, but I added the game to my account. And here you can see how the game is supposed to look like. And there we go. Like I said, it's a Japanese game, so I can barely read anything at all. It's 462 MB in size, and it's pretty well new it was released in 2014 but whatever so yeah the game is two key two key then the age of demons it's a demo version so it's free and you can easily change your playstation account to a japanese one and for whatever reason as you can see the game has an update available i think it's version 1.01 .01, but i'm not downloading that update because it might fix the exploit i really really doubt it but I will just keep the version 1.00, but okay, as you can see, I just start the demo version, then I get some black screens with text, most likely health screens and some stuff, whatever. Then I can skip this, start, then I select with the circle button because it's a Japanese game, Select the first menu, then the second menu, and then the VHBL starts. As you can see on the version number 0 0.1, it's currently still worked on, so you can expect a few bugs. But the game is free, so who are you to judge? It's free of charge, so whatever. And as you can see, it takes quite a while, because it's still, well... I would say a beta version, but whatever, it loads and it it can run homebrew on the most recent version, which is 3.51, so you can see it loads, and on the in the VHBL folder I have like the emulator master, PSP filer, GPSP and the Super Nintendo emulator, for example PSP filer can be started, and it works, and as you can see it's version, former version 6.61, so the PSP emulator is based on version 6.61. Then I'm exiting the PSP filer and return to the main menu of the VHBL. And then I will try to load the Super Nintendo emulator. Let's see. So I said it takes a while to load the menu because it's still an early build, but the game is free. You just have to change your account and that's it. It works on the most recent version, which is 3.51. Asnos emulator. I 
as you can see I could now load this Super Mario World but for whatever reason if I load this game you see there's a bug which prevents me from successfully loading the game I think the emulator now crashed but whatever it's free the game is available in the Japanese PlayStation Store and it works on the most recent version which is 3.51 which is very nice so yeah I'm that and this was my video about the firmware 3.51 and the VHBL this was made by the Japanese developer 173210 so his name just contains numbers and see you soon